The Story of Change by Kimberly Mason For the longest of time, I felt alone in a busy and people-filled world. Inside, I was struggling with the words to express my true feelings, and on the outside, I was fighting all the help I was offered because I didn't feel worthy. Everyone, especially my mom, was always trying to make it better, but no one really knew how. Even I didn't know how to fix me, and that hurt inside. I felt that I should have some clue as to what would fix whatever was wrong with me. We tried to push me into social situations. I tried doing a number of local youth groups and social activities. We even tried volunteering, one-on-one -on -one work with the art teacher of my middle school and JROTC when I entered high school, but nothing worked. I still spent all my time lonely, sinking deeper into my depression and clinging to the social anxieties that stripped me of free will. As I continued to struggle, I also continued to speak with my therapist and I learned how to better communicate and pick up coping skills through the years. Taking a deep breath and counting backwards from 10, even finding something to preoccupy my mind were skills that helped each minute of every day. So eventually, I stopped fighting the fear I had surrounding my mental illness. The thoughts of not being good enough, smart enough, loved enough, pretty enough, kind enough, sane or healthy enough, and figured out with the help of my family and friends how to embrace the fear. It was not until after I released these anxieties that I found peace, all without the weight of the medication that for years doctors were pushing at me. By the time I turned 21, 13 years after I first began struggling with my illness, I was refused treatment because I had no insurance. At that moment, I realized that I was ready. I had to be ready to let go of all my fears and truly embrace my support system and recall my coping skills. Fast forward to today, seven years later and 20 years into my illness. I have successfully learned how to juggle life's challenges and embrace its triumphs. I have mastered the art of coping and communication with my family and friends to ensure my own safety and sanity. And best of all, I have learned how to be happy. That is the story of how I changed from my illnesses and found life.